In this video, we discuss learning outcome number four from lesson 5.1. We're asked to use the range rule of thumb to determine whether a given value of a random variable is significantly high or significantly low. Now remember with the range rule of thumb, we said that values that are more than two standard deviations from the mean are significantly high or significantly low. Um, specifically, significantly low values are the mean minus two standard deviations or lower, and significantly high values are the mean plus two standard deviations or higher. Since we can calculate the mean and the standard deviation using a probability distribution now, we can use those parameters to determine whether a particular value is significantly high or significantly low. We say that the values within two standard deviations of the mean are not significant um, in a statistical sense. Now this value of two standard deviations from the mean isn't rigid. This is just one choice that we're using in this course. This is the preference of Mr. Triola. Some people might say three standard deviations for the mean or use a different number of standard deviations from the mean. And then we've got our graph here. If this is the mean, if you're within two standard deviations, so if you're within this middle range, those values are not considered significant. And significantly low values are that mean minus two standard deviations or lower, so that's on the far left. And significantly high values are the mean plus two standard deviations or higher, that's on the far right. So we've got this data set again, or not data set, this probability distribution again. Um, if we have five males with an X-linked genetic disorder and they have one child each, the random variable in this case is the number of children among the five who inherit that disorder. So it might be that zero um, children out of the five children inherit the disorder, or maybe one child inherits it, or maybe two, three, four, or five children inherit it. Um, corresponding to each of those values of that random variable x, we've got probabilities listed in that right column. Now in another video, we found the mean number of children who inherited this disorder um, to be 2.5 children, and we found that the standard deviation was about 1.1 child. So now we wanna use those results and the range rule of thumb to determine whether the outcome of four children and five um, inheriting the disorder, if that is significantly high in a statistical sense. Well, in order to do that, we need to calculate the values that are significantly low. So we'll find the mean minus two times the standard deviation. So that's 2.5 minus two times 1.1 or 2.5 minus 2.2, which is 0 0.3 or lower. So any value that is less than 0.3 is a significantly low value. And then significantly high values are given by the mean plus two standard deviations or higher. So we get 5.5, um, that's the mean, plus two times 1.1. So that's five, or 2.5, excuse me, plus 2.2. And 2.5 plus 2.2 is 4.7, not 5.7. Going to correct that error right now. There we go. 4.7 or higher. That means this should be a 4.7 as well. Since 4 is in between those outcomes of 0 0.3 and 4.7, this is not significantly high or significantly low. Let me show you on a piece of paper. So we want to draw these on a number line. The mean of 2.5 children is right there. And then we add that 2 point, or the add that 1.1 to get one standard deviation above the mean and then add 1.1 again to get to two standard deviations above the mean. And then we'll subtract 1.1 that's one standard deviation below the mean and subtract 1.1 again. That's two standard deviations below the mean. Oops. So
if we have some number of children over here or some number of children over here, those values are considered significantly high or significantly low. Now the outcomes for um, this particular procedure are x equals zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Either no children in the group um, would inherit that disorder or all five children inherit the disorder or some number between zero and five um, inherit the disorder. So zero children is over here and five children is over here. So it looks like zero children in five is significantly low and five children in five is significantly high, but any other number of children, one, two, three, or four is not considered significant in a statistical sense. 